Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about XRP. If you're enjoying these updates, smash that like button and hit that red subscribe button. But now let's get right into it. So just in, Donald Trump says he will charge a 100% tariff on countries shifting away from the US dollar if elected president. And we know these conversations that have been taking place about, you know, uh, kind of leaving the US dollar behind and really implementing another currency and I'm specifically talking about BRICS as we know you know there's obviously a lot of speculation going on with BRICS you know partnering with Ripple as of now obviously not confirmed but you know BRICS uh, main goal is to you know ditch the US dollar and make their own stable coin which is going to be pegged with the Chinese yuan where you know you can not be relying on the US dollar anymore and of course Donald Trump who is obviously running for election these guys Guys are not uh, ignoring this factor US dollar has been declining you know in terms of uh, obviously people are gonna come out and say inflation numbers came out better you know the job market numbers came out better than expected and a potential uh, you know decrease in the interest rate could actually happen you know a rate cut of course you know the speculation going on which takes uh, uh you know fomc meeting takes place in about a week and a half from now on and obviously you know that has a lot of people um on the edge that you know there could be a potential rate cut but i don't think that solves the bigger picture right now and donald trump uh sees that and you know really you can understand how big of a deal this really is let me know your personal thoughts down below regarding this we'll come back to this but let's take a closer look and see what is happening with the broader market so as we are in Sunday going into Monday morning, you know, the continuation of the green is actually holding as of now. You know, Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a move back above, you know, $55,000. Uh, but in terms of getting excited as far as the bigger picture is concerned, um, you know, that is obviously not something that we need to be doing right now because obviously Bitcoin needs to get back above some specific levels you know, before we can start getting excited. But uh, let's get further into this update. Before I do that, though, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so coinbase executives are selling shares at the past couple of weeks almost 33 million dollars worth the question is who will be buying coinbase and i totally agree with that you know, you know coinbase arguably is one of the biggest fiat gateways uh, for crypto but now in the year of 2024 there's so many more different fiat gateways and obviously you know a lot of people don't really rely on coinbase and not only because of course uh, you know the fees but just the product itself some people just don't support coinbase anymore and now you're seeing executives actually selling uh, their um you know stocks why are they selling their stocks uh, that's the question that you guys um, are probably wondering if you have been following the channel over the course of the last few weeks we saw a 1.78 trillion dollar wipeout for the stock market at the beginning of september so pretty much after the labor day weekend once the market opened in literally three days you saw a 1.78 trillion dollar wipeout which is equivalent to pretty much the entire market valuation for the entire cryptocurrency market so again not a small number by any means and you could really see, you know, Warren Buffett uh, is liquidating his stock. So is that really creating fear? Again, you know, the major thing that you want to be looking at is the symptoms of inflation. And of course, recession, most importantly. And I think this is what like the likes of Warren Buffett are seeing. And as you guys know, November is extremely, extremely important uh, for, you know, stock market, crypto economy, whatever you call it. Um, and obviously that is going to play a huge, huge factor as to what really happens uh, going into obviously, um, you know, 2025 and so on. But let me know your personal thoughts down below regarding this. You know, there's a bigger picture to this and not a lot of people are focusing on that but let's get into it you could see ripple was recently named among the top 250 fintech companies worldwide highlighting the company's continued development cnbc and market research firm statista recently published a list of the top 250 fintech companies in the world which included ripple between march and and May 2024 in-depth analysis of relevant KPIs for over 2,000 eligible organizations was conducted to determine the top 250 firms. And also Ripple was nominated in the digital asset category which includes companies that provide platforms and tools for uh, accessing and using digital assets and blockchain based applications such as cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens NFTs 
This marks the second consecutive year Ripple will be recognized for its significant impact and continued growth in the digital asset sector. And again, you know, this is something I've been emphasizing from the get go. We hear the term real world use case on a regular day to day basis. And again, if you're an OG, you know, this is something that we've been hearing since the beginning. You know, this XYZ product brings a you know real world use case and how important it is to get blockchain to the masses. And you're actually seeing Ripple, you know, one of the very few coins, um, you know, projects out there that are actually bringing real world use case, uh, you know, to the blockchain. And again, Numbers speak for themselves. Um, you know the uh, massive amount of developments that we're seeing speaks for themselves, and only a few understand that. You know people solely focus on the native token's price all the time. You know what is the native token doing? But if you look at how much Ripple as a project has, you know as a company actually has evolved, you know speaks a lot. Uh, of volume in my opinion and you know going forward you can see this for yourself um, we have none other than the obviously um, can't well, wow did I just lose track of what I was going to say Monica Long there we go so Monica Long obviously had to you know respond to this and says stoked to make the list for the second year in a row a testament to Ripple's monument amongst a uh, purist of the world's most impressive global financial institutions thanks to CNBC and Statista charts for the recognition and this is huge you know huge stuff of course um, and you know of course that you know Monica is the Ripple president who's talking about this and I totally agree you know people tend to ignore what Ripple as a you know company is doing how it's evolving um, obviously you know people say you know Ripple has been in the markets you could say you know it's pretty much as a company for the last almost decade I think just a little bit over a decade people say well why hasn't Ripple gone uh, towards the masses you know it's not like that it's not that fast it takes time for new companies to get to where they want to um, um, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't happen over like two years. It can take years and years. And you're starting to see what they were obviously intended to do actually playing out. You're seeing a big landscape shift occurring right now uh, that, you know, we never expected a few years back, but that's happening now. So again, it's a step-by-step -step process, which only a few understand. Um, and I do believe, you know, Ripple is making the right moves right now. As far as the XRP price goes, of course, you know, the native token, obviously the lawsuit's still going on. There's obviously, a lot of uh, speculation still going on regarding XRP, whether or not you're going to see that appeal or not, which obviously leaves a lot of investors on the sideline. Believe it or not, that is happening. Not a lot of people focus on that. But despite that fact, if you look at it on the weekly time frame um, and even the monthly time frame, it's actually not looking as bad as you guys might think. Uh, looking at the dominance, you know, the dominance is still around that 56.93%, which we spoke about yesterday. It has gone down quite a bit. You know, Bitcoin price, on the other hand, has seen a little bit of a move um, you know towards the upside currently sitting at 55,000 but you guys know nothing to be getting excited about we need to see the price at most get to the 23.6 in order for us to be on the safe end of the spectrum for Bitcoin itself but you know as far as XRP's price is concerned you guys can see you know XRP's price has been you know holding around this 53 cents for the last few days pretty much arranging back and forth around this level um, in order for us to get back above this key resistance specifically if you're wondering about that that's an eight percent move and again, it requires Bitcoin to just push back towards, um, you know, the 23.6. I don't think it's going to have a hard time for XRP to push back above these levels. But main target, again, uh, I might sound like a broken record at this point, is the 78.2 Fibonacci retracement level. But we're going to take it one step at a time. Let me know down below what you guys think. Love each and every one of you guys. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And do let me know what your personal opinion is regarding what's happening as of now. And what do you think the future holds for the broader crypto market as, as well as, you know, the stock market. Love each and every one of you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. I've been Crypto ZX and peace out.